Hey Feltz, you asked, so we delivered. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most commonly requested features felt that just became a reality, and that is the ability to make circles. So say you're making a map about um, the area covered by a public park or a certain hospital. Well, circles are a great way to determine that area on a map. And the way you use these is by clicking on the circle tool, clicking on a point that's going to be the center of your circle, and then dragging outwards to specify a certain radius. However, my favorite way of using these is to actually go in this box here to the right and determine a specific numeric radius, for example, 30 miles around this hospital. And if you're using metric and miles aren't your thing, you can use the drop down here to the right to specify another unit like meters or kilometers. Finally, you can also use the show radius button to let viewers um, also see these numbers if you choose to. Now, one of the really cool features about circles in felt is that they are geographic, which means that they represent a circle on the globe. And maybe that's not clear, so let me show you what I mean. Um, let's make a circle somewhere here near the equator. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to drag the circle very far north. And you'll see that the circle not only starts to grow, but it also kind of turns into more of an oval. So what you're seeing here is the distortion caused by the Web Mercator map projection, which is the map projection that I not only felt, but most web maps use. Um, if you're not familiar with this phenomenon, I recommend you check out a site called thetruesize.com, which is a really great way of exploring this topic. And speaking about interesting topics, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe so you'll get notified about new videos that are coming out with cool felt features every other Friday. Thanks for watching and see you next time.